Healthcare sector is one of the fastest growing sector in the country. Now there are many factors that contribute to this high growth. Some of the factors include greater health awareness, lifestyle diseases, increasing access to insurance and rising income level. In fact, in the latest budget, our finance minister has allocated 2.23 lakh crore towards building the healthcare system in India, which is 137% higher than the previous budget. Now within healthcare, you have various sectors, including hospitals, which are again divided into public and private category. Then it includes the pharma sector, medical devices sector, health insurance sector, and finally your diagnostic sector. In this video, we will specifically discuss the diagnostic sector in India and key players in the diagnostic sector. Hello everyone, my name is Sahil and this is my personal finance academy where I explain everything about money management in layman's language. We will start with analyzing the diagnostic sector in India, key trends for future. Then we will briefly discuss about each of the companies including Dr. Lal Path Lab, Metropolis Healthcare and Thyrocare. Finally, we will do a financial comparison of all three companies on parameters like growth ratio, profitability ratio, valuations, etc. Alright, let's get started. If you look at the diagnostic sector in India, there are majorly two categories of test. First is radiology, which is an imaging test where doctors see inside the body with tests like x-ray, CT scan, MRI, etc. And second is pathology which covers your blood test, urine test, body tissues, etc. Currently, the diagnostic sector in India is highly fragmented with 48% market held by unorganized players, 37% is with hospital-based diagnostic center and rest 15% is with pure play diagnostic companies including national chains like Dr. Lal Path Lab, Metropolis, Healthcare, Thyrocare and few regional chains. According to the new research, the diagnostic service market is expected to continue growing in India at a CAGR of 27.5% for the next 5 years, which is one of the fastest growth rate. The key factors driving the growth would include rise of elderly population, increase in per capita income, increasing health coverage, greater awareness regarding preventive testing and consolidation in diagnostic center from unorganized to organized player as the diagnostic industry in India is highly fragmented. Guys, you can look around and observe that there is an increase in medical test. In fact, today people prefer to also do an annual health checkup as a preventive measure. So there is a huge scope of growth for national level diagnostic chain companies like Dr. Lal Path Lab, Metropolis and Thyrocare. Started in 1949 in Delhi. Dr. Lal Patlab is one of India's largest diagnostic chain with 200 plus clinical lab, 3000 plus patient service center and 7000 plus pickup points. It has an extensive range of test catalog covering 455 test panels, 2537 pathology test and 1961 radiology and cardiology test. They provide various health packages like basic health checkup, advanced full body checkup and they also have specific tests for lungs kidneys, heart, etc. And tests for specific disease like diabetes, heart problem, etc. Established in 1980, Metropolis is again one of the largest diagnostic chain in India offering 4000 plus tests across 19 states and 210 cities with over 10,000 patient touch points. Company is growing both organically as well as inorganically with multiple acquisition. In FY20, Metropolis Healthcare received 10 million patients for over 19.6 million tests. Thyrocare was established in 1996 by Mr. A. Valumani. He is an ex-scientist at Bhabha Atomic Research Center with an initial focus on thyroid testing. Mr. A. Valumani has a very inspiring story of rising from lowest level of pyramid where his parents were so poor that they could not afford him a pair of slippers to currently at the top of the pyramid with a total wealth of more than 2000 crore. Today, Thyrocare offers 200 plus tests and 50 plus profile comprising different tests for preventive care and wellness under its brand Arogyam. If you look at the market cap, Dr. Lal Patlap has a market cap of around Rs 20,000 crore. Thyrocare has a market cap of around Rs 5,000 crore and Metropolis Healthcare has a market cap of around Rs 11,000 crore. So in terms of market cap, Dr. Lal is number one, 
followed with Metropolis and Thyrocaris number 3. In the last 5 years, Dr. Lal's share price has jumped from Rs. 866 to currently at 2388 at a CGR of 22.4%. Thyrocare had an IPO in May 16 and since then its share price has jumped from 625 to currently at 931 at a CGR of 8.75% and Metropolis recently had an IPO in April 19 and since then its share price has jumped from Rs. 970 to currently at 2140 in 2 years at a CGR of 48.5%. If you look at the revenue in last 5 years, Dr. Lal revenue have increased from Rs 660 crore to currently at 1330 crore for FY20. Thyrocare revenue have increased from Rs 183 crore to currently at Rs 433 crore for FY20. And Metropolis revenue have increased from 456 crore to 856 crore by FY20. As per latest revenue figure, Dr. Lal is number 1 followed with Metropolis and Thyroki is at third position. If you look at the revenue growth in last 5 years, Dr. Lal revenue have grown at a CAGR of 15%, Metropolis revenue have grown at a CAGR of 18.8% and Thyrocare revenues have grown at a CAGR of 13.4%. So in terms of revenue growth, Metropolis is number 1 followed with Dr. Lal and then Thyrocare. If you look at the profits in the last 5 years, Dr. Lal profits have increased from Rs 96 crore to currently at Rs 226 crore. Thyrocare profits have increased from Rs 45 crore to currently at Rs 88 crore for FY20. And Metropolis profits have increased from Rs 61 crore to at Rs 127 crore for FY20. As per the latest profit figure, Dr. Lal is number 1 followed with Metropolis and Thyrocare is at 3rd position. In terms of profit growth in last 5 years, Dr. Lal profits have grown at a CAGR of 18.68% and Thyrocrae profit have grown at a CAGR of 14.35%, Metropolis profits have grown at a CAGR of 15.8%. So in terms of profit growth in last 5 years, Dr. Lal is number 1 and then Metropolis. If you look at the return on equity, Dr. Lal ROE for FI20 stood at 21.38%. Thyrocare ROE is 23.98% and Metropolis ROE is 24.25%. So all three companies are at par in terms of ROE and all three companies have excellent ROE. Although Metropolis ROE is slightly higher than Thyrocare and Dr. Lal. If you look at the return on capital employed, Dr. Lal ROCE for FY20 stood at 30.75% and Metropolis also have same ROCE of 30.85%. Thyrocare ROC is stood at 37.47%. Again, all three companies have excellent ROC. However, Thyrocare is number one, followed with Dr. Lal and Metropolis at same level. If you look at the latest debt to equity ratio, Dr. Lal is completely debt free with zero debt. Thyrocare is also virtually debt free with negligible debt to equity, and Metropolis has a very low debt to equity of 0.13. So all three companies are comfortably placed in terms of their debt to equity ratio. If you look at the promoter shareholding, Dr. Lal promoter shareholding stood at 55.23%. Thyrocare promoter shareholding stood at 66.14% and Metropolis latest promoter shareholding stood at 50.39%. So all three companies have got good amount of holding from promoters which shows the trust of promoter in the company. Please note that the promoter shareholding in Dr. Lal has reduced by 3% in the last 2 years and Metropolis shareholding has reduced by 12%. Thyrocare promoter shareholding has increased by 2%. If you look at the valuations, Dr. Lal is currently trading at Rs 2388 at a PE of 82 whereas its 3 to 5 year median PE ratio is 48. Although the higher PE is also due to poor earning in two quarters during COVID. However, the valuations are still on the higher side with a PEG ratio of 4. Thyrocare share is currently trading at Rs 931 at a PE ratio of 66, whereas its 3 to 5 year median PE is 35. Although again the higher PE is also due to poor earning in two quarters during COVID. However, the valuations are still on the higher side with a PEG ratio of 4. Metropolis is currently trading at Rs 2140 at a PE ratio of 87, whereas its median PE since IPO is 53. 
Again, the valuations are on the higher side with PEG ratio of 5. If we conclude, all three companies are among the top players in the diagnostic chain in India. In terms of market cap, Dr. Lal is number one, followed with Metropolis and then Thyrocare. In terms of revenue and profit size, again Dr. Lal is number one, followed with Metropolis and then Thyrocare. In terms of revenue growth, Metropolis is number one, followed with Dr. Lal and then Thyrocare. In terms of profit growth, Dr. Lal is number one, followed with Thyrocare and then Metropolis. In terms of ROE, all three companies have great ROE and at par with each other. In terms of ROCE, all three companies have great ROCE. Although Thyrocare is number one, followed with Metropolis and Dr. Lal at second position. In terms of debt to equity, all three companies are comfortable with very low debt to equity or negligible debt level. In terms of promoter shareholding, all three companies have got good amount of promoter shareholding. In terms of valuation, all three companies are currently trading at expensive valuation with current PE higher than 3 to 5 year median PE. Although Thyrocare is slightly better placed in terms of valuation as compared to Dr. Lal and Metropolis. Guys, the diagnostic industry is poised to grow at a very fast rate. This is one sector you should invest your money periodically or on dips. And all three companies are doing great with good growth ratio, excellent profitability and very low debt levels and it is difficult to pick one company. Dr. Lal is slightly larger with a market cap of rupees 20,000 crore, Metropolis has a market cap of 11,000 crore and Thyrocare has a market cap of rupees 5,000 crore. I would personally like to invest in all three companies. What is your view? Would you pick one or all three? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Take care.